So this is Glen Canyon Dam in Arizona. And here's the actual dam. So we had nice flowers at the dump station in Colorado, but look, you have massive elk here at the dump station at Mather Campground in Grand Canyon. All right, and here are the comfort stations. The comfort stations are only restrooms and a sink to wash your dishes. And they also have just an information board for you. Alright, this is one of the restrooms. Three stalls. This one in particular does not have handicap accessible. But I did see one that is handicap accessible in this same loop. So they are available. Just make sure you look for a handicap accessible restroom if that's what you need. I'm sure it's close to the handicap accessible sites. Oh, and they do have a few outlets there. So there's a there's a dump station. And right here they have showers and laundry. They also sell firewood. $7.29 a bundle. And ice for $5.29 a bag. And then I'll show you the laundry. They have a lot of washers and dryers. The washers Washers are two fifty, dryers are a dollar twenty-five a load. They have detergent and cash only machines. So make sure you bring your cash. There is a little store there, they could probably break some bills if you needed to. And the dryer sheets are a dollar twenty-five. Pretty good size place here. They also have showers, and there are the times, and the showers are two fifty and quarters for five minutes. And then they have these monster washers for five fifty, big washers. And back in this corner, they have soda machine and snack machine. $2.50 
$2.50 for a 20 ounce bottle. And then of course you have your snacks. Looks like they are all between $2 and $2.10. Weird price point, but that's what it is. And as usual, I am going to show you our site, 125. It is a very nice site, but when you pull in, it's this way. Luckily, as you can see, there is nobody around us. Although they all say reserved. And if we would have pulled in the correct way, your door on site 125 faces the road and those pine trees and you wouldn't be able to open your awning or anything. So luckily there was nobody around us. So Scott was able to zip around here and have our door facing the campfire. So just be aware 125, your door faces the road. It would be facing on this side. So we don't like that about it. But privacy, you have plenty of privacy. No one on that side of us. Very, very nice sight. And this morning, some elk walked right through there. Came through, walked behind the RV. front of our site. It is a huge site. But like I said, 124, which is that one, when you come down that hill and you pull in the correct way, you're already facing the right way as far as your door leading to the picnic table. I wanted to show you a pull through site, 124. And we think it's very nice because the door would be on this side when you pull in. It's a one-way one -way road to get here. And there's your fire pit back there, picnic table, a lot of privacy, and your next site is over there. So this is a really good site. And there are some elk back there, if I could zoom in. And you might even have a glimpse of some wildlife if you're at this site. Actually, you'll probably get a glimpse of wildlife at any site. But they just happen to be sitting there. This is another really good pull-through site. It is huge, 156. You do have the road way back there. If the car goes by, you'll be able to see it. There goes one. It's in the distance, but pretty level. Got the picnic table. My fire pit right there. And like I said, it's huge. I'm going to write this one down for a maybe if we ever come back here. But it's a pretty nice sight. So like I said, it does have the road. The road is right there. If you don't want that, then this is not the site for you. <laughs> 